You've had pizza. You've had chicken wings. You've had boneless wings. But have you had boneless pizza? I mean, yeah, but that's what Buffalo Wild Wings is called in these freaking things here. They're the boneless bar pizzas. <sighs> There's a buffalo style one and a honey barbecue style one. I got them both. We're gonna try them. <laughs> boneless pizza. Who's coming up with this shit? I don't know, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and thanks to anyone who has come over here from Daisy Sue's channel. I appreciate you. I appreciate her. We'll get into that in a minute. Let's take a stupid selfie thumbnail with these two pizzas, if we can. Oh god, don't fall, don't fall. Alright. Alright, 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 here we go. There we go. Okay, um, let's try the buffalo one first. So. The buffalo one comes with medium, well actually you get to choose which buffalo sauce you want. I chose medium, that's the default. You can do spicy garlic, original buffalo, hot, wild, no sauce, mild. Spicy garlic buffalo sauce sounds pretty good. Probably should have done that, but we're going medium. It's traditional. Comes with blue cheese crumbles, pickled hot peppers, and green onions. Yep, that looks about right. Let me show you a little, a little closer up what that looks like. $10, at least at my location. Um, I got delivered with Uber Eats. That's an interesting experience. Half of them walk up to the door, they're talking to somebody. They're always talking. It's wild. We'll get into that. We'll get into it, guys. Lots to talk about that. Lots to talk about. Okay, so here's a piece of this. It's like a flat bread. Here's the underside of that. It looks all right. I mean, it looks like a $10 flatbread you'd get anywhere. You might pay more for this elsewhere. Let's see if the flavor matches up with what it looks like. Yeah. You gotta like blue cheese. And I love blue cheese. From Western New York, we live off blue cheese. And buffalo sauce. The bits of boneless wing are really good. Honestly, if you've been watching me do reviews on here, I've done enough Buffalo Wild Wings videos. This might be the best thing I've gotten from them. This is actually good. I wouldn't be mad if I paid $10 for it. In fact, I did. I paid more because I got it delivered. Mm. A little messy. Um, hmm. Interesting. It's a pickled hot peppers. Actually, what else? Green onions, thin crust. Boneless wings, ranch. So there's blue cheese crumbles and there's ranch. There's a lot of flavor going on there. I got a jalapeno here. They're pickled red peppers and I didn't actually get any with that. Well, there was one. Let's just try one straight up just to see what it's like. It's a pickled hot pepper. Hmm. It's like a pickled jalapeno or something. Maybe. It's very good. These are good. This is good. I didn't expect to love this. I kind of do. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Guys, this is actually really good. I don't say that lightly when it comes to Buffalo Wild Wings. It's actually really good. So I mentioned a welcome to anyone from Daisy Sue's channel. Um, long story short, you know, the whole saga here. I, uh, YouTuber buddy of mine, Daisy Sue, back in the day when I used to just go watch like new channels that didn't have a lot of subscribers, just see what they were like, leave a comment or two. That was one I came across and she was under like 400 subs. I think she was like 380 something when I ran into her. And I thought she's doing a really good job with this. And the kicker too, 
was she was local. She lives over in Greensboro. I'm in Charlotte. So we got in touch, became friends, whatever. She blew up to like 100,000 plus subscribers. It's insane. So she's doing really well, but we planned a bunch of collabs and we had to cancel, postpone, reschedule, whatever, whatever. Well, we finally got together over the weekend. So if you're watching me and you want to see me uh, over on Daisy's channel, we got some food over in Greensboro. It's a fun video, I think. Link above to that, link in the description. Um, it was a good time. Um, she's really nice. I had fun. I had fun. Um, yeah, man, if you came over here from there, welcome. I kind of do the same thing. I do some shorter food reviews. I do some longer ones. I drive around in the car and I just talk about life. I, I do it all. I sip on beer. I do some beer reviews. <laughs> Not too many. It's a fun time. So this is the honey barbecue one. Yeah, I don't know. Some of these people in life are just on the phone all the time. And I had some experience with that. I was kind of sort of seeing this girl for a while, and she just wanted to talk all the time. Literally all the time. Now, being unemployed, that made it easy for her. Actually, no, she wasn't unemployed. Well, she was eventually. That's another story. She always wanted to talk. Talk all day. Talk all night. Talk till 2 a.m. Oh, you're going to sleep? Yeah, it's 2 a.m. Good God. That's what these people do. Maybe I'm just bitter that nobody wants to talk to me that much anymore. <laughs> it's life, right? Um, so yeah, check this one out. What's the difference with this? This one comes with cheddar jack cheese. I think the other one was mozzarella. Actually, no, this one has mozzarella. Did the other one have mozzarella? Guys, I can't keep up with this stuff. The other one did not have the cheddar jack. It just had mozzarella. That's the difference, but this one, it's got honey barbecue sauce instead of ranch. It's got cheddar jack cheese. It's got the medium buffalo sauce. And you can still pick your buffalo sauce. It's got bacon. It's got bacon. That's different. It's got the pickled hot peppers. It's got the green onions. Does not have the blue cheese crumbles. Let's see how it compares. So. Here's a piece of that one. It's smothered in the barbecue sauce. I mean, you'd get it's drowning. Mmm. So, I got rid of the blue cheese. I love blue cheese. I got rid of the ranch. I like ranch. But that honey barbecue is delicious. And the bacon gives it this extra oomph that you, you're not missing the other stuff I just talked about. I am genuinely impressed by these. It's a little $10 flatbread that came out of Buffalo Wild Wings. Packed with flavor. Good chicken on it. Hmm. That's really good. Have you been looking for an excuse to go to Buffalo Wild Wings? This is it. Do you go there regularly? Get this. Do you not go to Buffalo Wild Wings and kind of hate it? I don't know if this is going to sell you on it, but this is a really good flatbread pizza. I'm, I'm a fan. Hmm. Good, good. I got two pizzas. I got leftovers for the next couple days. I'll probably save some. I'm sorry, I don't like talking with food in my mouth. I'm being naughty there. Probably save some for Friday. I'm actually going to a concert. And most people I keep telling us about this concert, they don't know who this is because I'm young enough. No, I'm not young. I'm like 32, almost 33. But I'm young enough that I shouldn't be into this music. It's Christopher Cross. <laughs> yeah, the sailing guy who read like the wind. The guy who's the theme to Arthur. The movie, not the children's show. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got a $40 ticket to this venue here in Charlotte, the Fillmore, I really like. I, it's assigned seating instead of general admission, which is probably good. Last show I went there was churches, and they're like indie electronic, right? Um, and I love it, and we're all dancing around, we're jumping around, we're drinking, having a great time, singing along. I feel like the vibe at Christopher Cross is not going to be the same. 
but I want it to be. I want it to be just dancing around, singing, jumping around with a bunch of 40, 50, 60 year olds. Like, that's what I want. I don't know that I'm gonna get it, but it would be a good time. It would be a good time. Uh, now, which one of these do I like better? It's really to your personal taste. I love blue cheese and ranch. That other one does it for me, but this one's really good too. Some of these pieces are just loaded. Look at this thing. I can't even hold it up to the camera. The bacon really adds something. The barbecue sauce is great. The heat from the buffalo kicks in. Bravo, bravo, I never thought. I would be so ecstatic about something I got from Buffalo Wild Wings. Delivered, mind you. This came from 20 minutes away. 15? 15, 15 minutes away? Imagine if it were fresh. No, I don't think it would be much better. This delivered very well. Good stuff. Buffalo Wild Wings, boneless pizzas. God, it's a dumb name. But it's got the boneless wings on them, and they're really good. It's really good. You got me. This is great. I could eat this all the time. I hope they don't get rid of them, because if I end up at a Buffalo Wild Wings anytime soon, this is what I'm ordering. Hands down. One of them anyways. Maybe the other one? Ah, oh, good stuff. I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more like this. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Don't forget, go check me out over on Daisy Sue's channel. Um, that was fun. We got burgers. I found a chunk of burger and Daisy hair in my car the other day. That's when I said, hmm, we messed this thing up. <laughs> so now I'm on the subscription car wash plan. So thanks for finally pushing me to that, Daisy. Um, anyways, I appreciate y'all. Take care.